Oh god, I can't, I can't reach it. I need something! You'll be good. Thank you. Hi. All right, so stop number one today. Obviously, we, we have priorities here. We have to get Jamba for today. Uh, I haven't had it in like two and a half weeks, so today's my day. Actually, longer than that. But I, it's, hold on. It's early in the morning right now. It's like 9.30ish, and we're cruising over to Scooter Zone right now because I'm gonna make a quick Scooter Hacks video for you guys. I did not film yesterday. Reason being, we had a lot of other stuff to do throughout the day, and I wasn't able to get home until way later on at night, so I didn't have enough time to film a full vlog. So I'm up early today to make sure I get over to Scooter Zone, film a video for you guys, and finish that up, edit it, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna go film another video at the skate park later on. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure you tune in for, well, it's your tomorrow, but, oh wait, it's my tomorrow too. Tune back in tomorrow. Yeah. Go ahead. Go. There you go. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Okay, like I said, today we're gonna be doing another scooter hack. And um, this one, I, I kind of struggle with this a lot because I tend to do, I install my grip tape really, really lazily. Why do I do that? I don't know. It's just been something I've done forever. I just kind of get my grip tape, I slap it on, I call it good. Bleh, I leave, I ride, and then I end up screwing it up. And this has happened with me with grip tape forever. But there is a way to stop your, your grip tape from being um, destroyed so quickly. And, I, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know like when you, um, you know when you have a fresh sheet of grip tape and you just put it on, you go to the skate park, you do like some double whips, whatever, tail whips, triple whips, and you're catching them and it hits your foot and it tears on the side. Well, obviously we all know what, why that happens. It's because the deck is hitting the bottom of your foot and it's peeling the grip tape up because of all that, the pressure and that friction against your foot and uh, or the bottom of your shoe and your grip tape. It's just peeling it right up. And before you know it, you've got grip tape that's half of an actual sheet because you took the pieces that were like falling off and you just ripped it all off. And it sucks because let me, let me explain why I think grip tape being so clean is pretty important. Now, this sounds kind of hypocritical because my grip tape always looks like crap because like I said, I put it on pretty lazily, but the reason that I think grip tape will make or break a scooter is because think 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 of this. Hear me out. You go out, you go out, you, you're you're out, you're going out to dinner, right? You got some really, really nice clothes on, like a suit or something. You see a dude with a suit, nice suit. And he's got these really nice watch, got nice his hair is all done up. Looks real good, right? Real good. Until you get to his shoes. He's got some new balances on that have been worn in for like eight months. Bad. Are you Steve Jobs? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Come on. You looks like crap. Immediately, you look like crap, bro. But think of this. You're out. You're walking around. You're just, you're just out in public, right? No big deal. You're just cruising around, doing your thing. Kind of a raggedy shirt on. You got some jacked up, you got some jacked up jeans or a jacked up pair of shorts. You got some socks that don't even match. But you got some fly shoes on. You got some freshies on. You look good. You want, you could be wearing nothing. And at the bottom, you look great because you got some nice shoes on, right? Now think about that. That's the same thing as grip tape. How many times have you guys seen a super, super nice scooter, brand new? He's got some brand new grips on there. He's got like a really nice fork, a really nice deck. Everything looks amazing. The wheels are nice and shiny, but the grip tape looks like crap. The whole scooter then, it kills it to me. Well, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments, but to me, grip tape is a very important thing. Again, this sounds hypocritical because my grip tape's always torn up. That's because, like I said, I throw mine on. I throw, bleh, I throw mine on really quick. I just slap it on and I call it a day. I go to the skate park because I'm kind of uh, lazy. But you can fix that. So it all has to do with the installation in the beginning. So I have a deck right here. Where, wait, no, where's my scooter? I'm gonna take my old grip tape off, and I'm gonna put this grip tape on. I need a razor blade. You know, to be 100% honest, I don't really know why um, Steve and I work on our scooters on the glass display case when there's a full workshop in the back. I don't have an answer for you. All right, so this grip tape comes off. This grip tape will go in the trash. Now, the fresh grip tape. I'll put mine on upside down, 
That's my new trend. If you want to start, you want to follow the trend, feel free. Be trendy. Mine's going upside down. Okay, so here's my grip tape. This is just some Galaxy grip tape that I like on my scooter because I think the colors go really well with this blue and goldish kind of colors. Anyways, we all pretty much know how to install grip tape. If you guys don't know how to install grip tape, all you really do is it's just basically a big sticker. Don't overthink this. Um, all you do is just you cut it to the shape of your deck. Now it's it's pretty simple. If you screw it up, it's not that big of a deal as long as you have it to somewhat um, even on the sides. This hack will work. It doesn't have to go all the way to the back right here. You don't have to cut it perfectly in the back. As long as it's as long as it's all Gucci right here, like just on the sides, you're golden. So don't trip. All right. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this part up right here. If you guys don't want to listen to me explain how to put grip tape on, just go ahead and skip forward to this time and you will know exactly what happens with this hack. If I could ever get this grip tape, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're in. So on my decks, we have like this little picture of my car and it's got like a little barcode on it, my name and all the specs and everything. I don't really care about that. You guys don't really need to take that sticker off, but if you want to, that's fine. I just, I usually leave mine on just because um, I'm weird. All right, so I'm gonna very carefully set this down. Now, one thing about grip tape, if there are bubbles in it, you're gonna have an issue. Make sure there are no bubbles. And if you do see some bubbles in your grip tape and you wanna get them out, the easiest way to get them out is just with a razor blade. All you're gonna do is just, let's just say there's a bubble right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke it really hard, make a small hole, and I'm just gonna press, and that air will escape out of this little incision that I made with the razor blade. So like I said, just, just poke it. It's a bubble. That's all you gotta do. How do you pop bubbles? You poke them. That's all you gotta do. Poke it, press on the grip tape, and the air will escape out and you won't have a bubble anymore. You can also do that with um, other other scooter parts, which I, I'll show you guys later on. All right, we're pretty close to the back. Now, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut the lines that I need to to make sure that it fits on the back of my deck correctly. The back of this is probably not gonna be that good, to be 100% honest, but like I said, the back doesn't really matter as long as the sides are good. Again, just, just remember that. So you don't have to, it, your grip tape doesn't have to be 100% perfect um, if you want to just work. If you want to look good, you might want to take some time. Uh, me, I personally, um, I think it looks good when you have nice grip tape, but I don't care that much. All right, so the back of my grip tape is cut, so I'm just gonna cut this last little piece out. All right, she's good. Not too bad, not too shabby. Now it's time to cut the sides. Now. This is just kind of hanging off of each end of the scooter, which is exactly what you want. You don't really want to just set it down on one side and then have it hanging off the other side and just think that you can cut them pretty evenly because that's where things can get, not sketch, but just kind of sloppy. I'm not saying it's going to turn out sloppy, but it can very easily. So I like to hang both of the edges off of each side because then I can use my screwdriver in order to make sure that they're both pretty even. It's never going to be 100% perfect, but you can get it closer when you do it like this. At least that's what, that's what I think. When my experience is, this has been the best way for me to do it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my screwdriver right here and I'm gonna run it along the sides of my grip tape. And it's just gonna make a small line down the entire side of my grip tape. So if I just do a small bit of it just like this, you see this line right here that it's making? Basically what that is doing is it's making the grip tape thinner. So it's gonna make it easier to cut because there's not gonna be the, the actual grippiness, like that little um, pieces of sand or whatever you wanna call it. That's not gonna be right here. So it's gonna be a lot easier for your razor blade to slide through that. So I'm gonna just do one entire side. You don't have to push super hard and you don't have to go super fast. If you want this hack to work pretty effectively, just take this slow, take it nice and easy. Don't, don't rush it and, uh, and it'll, it'll get you more time out of that grip tape. You wanna go until you feel like the, the areas that you're doing it on are pretty smooth. You don't feel a lot of grip. So like, it, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you actually try this out. You'll know that this right here, this is pretty smooth, but if I go on the edge right here, I can feel a lot of grip. You don't want that. So just stay on this one area until it's relatively smooth the entire way through the deck. So I'm gonna keep going until the entire edge of the deck is nice and smooth. Do the same with the back end right here. Be a little careful because this back end has a tendency to rip sometimes if you if you go too hard. So just go kind of slow on this end. Like I said, don't rush it and you'll be fine. All right, so that feels pretty good. Everything's pretty smooth right here. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your razor blade and cut it like you normally would when you're putting grip tape on. Cause that's really all we're doing right now is just put it, we're just installing the grip tape. This is not the hack yet. So I'm just gonna kind of peel some of this up off the sides of the deck where it's stuck down. Go all the way to the back. Now it's all hanging off. So now I'm gonna take my razor blade 
and just slide down the side. If, if you did go until, um, if, you, if you kind of filed everything down until it was pretty smooth, this will be very, very smooth to cut through. It's gonna be like a hot knife through butter. So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna do this back end right here. Boom, now I'm just gonna do a small little piece right here. Take it easy, make sure that you guys are being very, very careful when you have the razor blade in your hand. Razor blades are not a joke, they're very sharp. So if you guys aren't old enough to use a razor blade on your own, make sure you guys have your parents around just to make sure that you don't cut your hand and have any problems because nobody wants that. Nobody wants to get a, a sliced finger or anything like that. All right, so that back end looks pretty good right now. It's, it's formed to the shape that I want it to be. So now, here's how the hat goes. When you cut your grip tape, you have spare pieces just like this one. This piece came off of right here when I originally cut around the break. That's what this piece of grip tape is. Basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that, that this area is as flat and as flush as you can get it. The only way that you can do that is by basically filing it down. Now, if you take a normal file, it could kind of eat into the side of your deck and just kind of, you'll, you can lose some material. And it won't necessarily make your deck weaker, but it's also a little bit more of a mission because you have to go out, you have to find, you have to find a, uh, a file and all that kind of stuff. So all you need to use is another piece of grip tape that you have. It doesn't have to be the same sheet of grip tape that came from this grip tape. It can be any grip tape, it does not matter. So, or a sandpaper, that's all grip tape is, it's just sandpaper. So if you have sandpaper laying around, that's cool. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sticky part of the back of the grip tape, I'm just gonna stick it on my fingers, that's it, all right? So I'm just gonna stick on my fingers. Now I have like some kind of a, just a handle of some sort to make sure this one isn't gonna fall off. Now, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the grip tape, the, the, the grippy side, I'm gonna put it down on my grip tape just like this. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub on the sides of the grip tape. Now, try to get your finger, your pointer finger or either, any of them kind of on the edge of the, of the deck. So you're pushing basically right on the seam where the grip tape and the deck meet. So basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna target that one area to make sure that you're, you're getting the, um, the most amount of friction on that one area so that it kind of files it down and makes it a lot smoother. Again, do not rush. Uh, there, this isn't a race, just, just relax. Do your thing. It's, this is gonna discolor the sides of your deck, like on the top ends at least, not on the side. The side will be fine, but if you have a brand new deck, um, it's, it's gonna just kind of make the top ends, like this kind of, kind of like this corner right here, it's gonna make it silver. It's gonna take it down to the actual aluminum, so it's just gonna, it's just, just the aluminum color is gonna come through, but it's not gonna be that noticeable um, unless you're really, really, really picky about it. Me, myself, I'm not that crazy about it. So when you're, when you're doing this, this, this grip tape that you're using right here, this is gonna eat through. So once it does, once it starts to kind of go through, just move down a little bit, have another section. So now when I rub, instead of, when I rub on this grip tape, instead of being right here, where I just now rub, where it's kind of white, it's gonna be going right here. So just gonna create another area. Again, don't rush, just relax. And go all the way to the back. Focus on the flat sides first. Don't go into here just yet. I mean, you can realistically, but I like to do these edges first because I have the fresh sheet of grip tape that I'm using. So um, I usually just go right here first. All right, so now the edges are pretty much all filed down. I'm just gonna kind of blow some of that dust off there really quick. And now you can tell. See how this is kind of brighter? That's because that grip tape I just rubbed on it, it just kind of ate through some of the color. That will go away once you start standing on it, you start riding. This grip tape is gonna get absolutely dirty anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So um, all you'll do is to do the exact same thing that you did to, from this side on the opposite side. Pretty simple. Okay, so. Once you're finished, you should have something that looks just like this. I took a lot of time on this. This is probably more time than I've taken on grip tape than uh, probably, probably in the past five years. I haven't spent this much time on grip tape, so this should last me a little bit. Now, before we move on, let's understand that this doesn't make grip tape last forever. This will make your grip tape last a little bit longer when it comes to hitting the sides. This is not gonna keep, uh, keep it grippy. It's not gonna help the top end. Grip, that, that the grippy part, 
that's as, as grippy as it is, as long as it is, there's no way for you to really help that unless you just get more. If it gets really, really bad, your grip tape's not grippy anymore, you're, you're doing tilts and you're just sliding right off, anything like that, or you just think that you need some more, it's super, super dirty, or it's, it's all jacked up, just get some new grip tape. Grip tape's one of the cheapest things that you can possibly buy for your scooter, and uh, um, maybe as opposed to like bar ends or something like that. And uh, yeah, this will work on any grip tape, just so you guys know. Also, if you're using a sheet like I had, like a scooter sheet of grip tape, um, you won't have quite as much extra to use for, for pieces for when you, uh, when you actually sand the sides down and stuff like that, or when you file them down. If you use a, a sheet of skateboard grip tape, you obviously get a lot more. So then you, you'll have a little bit more to work with. You, if you screw something up, you can always go back and just do it again, whatever. Like I said, it's just a big sticker. Um, you should be able to do it just like this if you just take your time. That's, that's the thing about grip tape. It's all about just, just don't rush. It's definitely something that if you take your time, you'll you'll know it is. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys thought that this hack was helpful, let me know in the comments below. If you guys didn't think this hack was helpful, let me know what else that you guys wanna see. What other scooter hacks do you think I should do? Do you have any issues with your scooter that you think you might need some help fixing? Anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. I, I, I always read all the comments and um, I, I take them all into consideration. So, also, really quick, if you guys want um, a shirt off of my website, all of my shirts were, I had, I had a big restock, so there's small, mediums, larges, and extra larges. Also, there are now youth sizes. For everybody that was, that's was that been asking me for forever, basically, there are youth sizes. to so do small, youth medium, and youth large. So if you guys weren't able to get a shirt before because they were too big, now you should be fine. The smallest one is like this big, so that should be plenty small enough for some of you littler guys. But uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Um, if you guys don't already, make sure you go down there, subscribe, and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. And I post every single day at 12.30. Again, this is going to be going up here in the next two hours. So, I need to start editing. Yep. That, that, that's, I think that's it. Is there anything else I should say? Oh! Don't forget to put your grid tape on upside down. That's all. Later. Oh, God. I can't, I can't reach it. I need something. That'll work. Later didn't work. I, mi I actually missed the camera. So hopefully this one works this time. I'm gonna get a little closer. Later.